Hey there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at editing for clarity. Yes, to make sentences complete and clear, obviously. So let's get started. On today's agenda, we have identify problems with missing words. Within that, we're going to edit these problems. Then we're going to include that when needed we're going to make comparisons clear, and finally, we're going to add articles where necessary. So let's get started. Identify problems with missing words. So writers should be particularly alert for missing words in the following situations. Compound structures, dependent clauses beginning with that, and comparisons. We have an example combining all these three situations. Somebody might write something like, he claims matrix one is better. I, that matrix two is. Well, there are a lot of words missing here. We should write something like, he claims that matrix one is better than matrix two. I claim that matrix 2 is better than matrix 1. It makes more sense. We are going to discuss how to avoid omissions. Ask yourself these three questions. Number one, are any additional words needed to make a sentence idiomatic and grammatical? Let's take a look at this example. Commuting in carpools, train or bus can help reduce the nation's consumption of oil. Well, if you add the preposition by, so commuting in carpools by train or by bus can help reduce the nation's consumption of oil. It makes more sense. The second question you should ask yourself is, is the word that missing when it's needed for clarity for example, many companies suggest their employees carpool or take mass transit to work. Hmm, that's not that clear, right? How about if you add that? Many companies suggest that their employees carpool or take mass transit to work. It makes more sense here. Question number three. Are all comparisons clear and complete? So, for example, carpooling is more energy efficient. Hmm, it's better to write carpooling is more energy efficient than driving alone, right? So it makes more sense. You added more words and it's clear. Let's take a look at how to edit problems with missing words. Add words that are needed to make compound structures complete and clear. The second is can be omitted in the following example because the, the verb in the first part of the compound structure is also is. The defendant's anger is extreme and his behavior violent. Yeah, we can omit is here. The defendant's anger is extreme and his behavior is violent. We can even say that, but really is not needed because we already mentioned is on the first um, Clause. Do not leave out part of the compound structure unless both parts of the compound are the same. For example, the gang members neither cooperated nor listened to the authorities. Well, guess what? We need the preposition with because listen to, okay, and then we need to add the preposition of co cooperated. So cooperated with. So, like I said here, both prepositions are needed in this sentence. Cooperated with and listened to. I have more to say about this. Similarly, when grammar requires different forms of a word in each part of a compound, both forms should appear in the sentence. The boss flies first class, the rest of us economy class. It is better to add the verb also in the second clause. The boss flies 
first class, the rest of us fly economy class. Sometimes to avoid misunderstanding, you may need to repeat a word even when it serves the same function in both parts of a compound structure. The author dedicated the book to the children and teachers. Well, if you add here, the possessive adjective her is better. So the author dedicated the book to her children and her teachers, right? Is, I don't know if you heard about parallelism. If you haven't heard, I suggest a video that I created on this subject, parallelism. So if we add the possessive adjective with children, then it's better to add it with teachers too. The repetition makes it clear that the children and the teachers are not the same people. Now let's take a look at the second point. Include that when needed. Some people use which instead of that, such as I need a book which will explain the French Revolution. I need a book that will explain the French Revolution is more grammatical. Others will omit that when it would be grammatically appropriate to include it. Some people write, I like the music Sting plays. Um, it's better to add that here. I like the music that Sting plays. To avoid confusion, do not omit that when the subordinate clause starts with anything other than a subject, such as an adverb. So, for example, the book claims, eventually, the people got too hungry. So, the book claims that eventually the people got too hungry. That's much better. When in doubt, use the grammatically correct subordinator. Let's take a look at our third point. Make comparisons clear. To be clear, comparisons must be complete. For example, peanut butter sandwiches are boring. Hmm, it's incomplete. Why? Because I don't give an option, right? For example, if I said chicken sandwiches are more interesting than peanut butter ones, it's complete. The meaning is clear now. Add missing words where necessary when the meaning is not clear. For example, I loved my grandmother more than my sister. Hmm, did you love your sister more than your grandmother or what? No, I meant I loved my grandmother more than my sister did, right? So that makes it clear. Include the words other or else to clarify comparisons. When the subject of the comparison belongs to the same category to which it is being compared. For example, high school stage the rest sisters more than any play. Hmm, it's better to add other here. High school stage the rest sisters more than any other play. Or we can have something like Prof. Kooning has written more books than anyone in the department. Hmm. Prof. Kunin has written more books than anyone else in her department. It sounds much better. I have something else to tell you about number three. Use a possessive form when comparing attributes or possessions. For example, Plato's philosophy is easier to read than that of Aristotle. It's better to, to write something like Plato's philosophy is easier to read than Aristotle's. Remember that complex comparisons may require more than one addition to be completely clear. For example, Smith's book is longer, but his account of the war is more interesting than Jones. So it's better to write something like Smith's book is longer than John's book, but his account of the war is more interesting than John's account, right? The message here is specific 
and clear. Now, let's go to the fourth point, add articles where necessary. In English, omitting an article can make an expression sound odd. A dog that bites should be kept on leash. Hmm. Um, it's better to add the article A. A dog that bites should be kept on a leash. Or we can have something like he gave me books he liked best. He gave me the books he liked best. Right? It's more specific. The books. If the articles in a series are different, each must be included. So, for example, the classroom contain an aquarium, birdcage, and rabbit hutch. No, you need to add the articles here. The classroom contain an aquarium, a birdcage, and a rabbit hutch. So now over to you. Yes, that's right. Let's practice. So I'm going to give you five minutes to complete these sentences and then I will give you the key. So pause the video, please. Now that you have your sentences ready, let's look at the key. Number one, Ramu is poor, but he is an honest man, so we're missing the article N. No A, but N, honest, because we don't pronounce the H here. Number two, have you visited the Taj Mahal in Agra. Article the missing here. Number three, Akbar was Jahangir's father. Number four, the train left an hour ago. We're missing the article an here. H is not pronounced again. Number five, Spain is larger, larger than Belgium. We're missing than. Number six, Sophie takes the bus to school every morning. And I take, we need to repeat the verb here, the car. Number seven, Lord of the Rings won more awards than any, any other, we're missing other film in 2004. Well, people, that's it for today. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the mini lesson, hit on the like button. If you want to share this mini lesson, please do. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Miss you already. Take care. Bye bye.